Hi, this is Dan with CheapShooter.com and today we're going to show you a technique in Adobe Photoshop to make your backgrounds pure white on a macro image like this. The image we're using for our demonstration today is from John Katz on Flickr. John takes really cool f images of older cameras and we're going to use his today as a demonstration. So thanks John. Uh, to start us off, um, I want to point out a few things about the image. Uh, it does a pretty good job of isolating itself. This is the type of result you get back when you use a softbox or something like that, where the background's almost pure white, but you can see some shades of gray in here. I went ahead and changed Photoshop's default background color to white to make the contrast a little more evident. Now, the problem with an image like this is when you drop it on a website or something, these gray areas are going to become immediately evident. We don't want that, so I'm going to show you about a 10 second technique that will get rid of these really easily. We're going to go to Image, Adjustment, Curves. And you can see right here, Curves displays the histogram for this image. This data right here that I'm mousing over is the data for the background, and that's all those shades of gray. We're going to clip those by moving this dot in the upper right hand corner just to the left of that. And immediately you can see the difference in our image. All those gray areas are gone and now the image is on pure white. But just to check and make sure that this actually is completely pure white, because we don't want any sort of off tone, I'm going to do what's called a threshold check. I'm going to go to my layers palette over here. I'm going to click on this half black and half white circle down here. I'm going to go to threshold. Another histogram pops up. I'm going to drag this arrow on the bottom all the way over to the right hand side. What this does is it turns anything that isn't exactly pure white a shade of black. Well, black, exactly. So you can see that this is our levels adjustment has done a pretty good job. There's some areas in here that aren't pure white and an area down here. And also the shadow of the camera sort of doesn't show up as pure white either. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Then we can take our paintbrush and we can just select our bottom layer, layer 1. And we can just paint over these areas if we don't want them there. We want that to be that white color. I'm going to go ahead and leave the shadow because I think it's a nice effect. After that's done, just delete your threshold layer. And you have it. And now you have a type of image that you can drop into any white page design or any website with a white background. And it will blend seamlessly with the background, which is what you want with a, a shot like this. Um, it's an easy technique to do. It works good in images like this where the tones are a little bit darker because if you have anything, if I was to have any sort of gray in the camera that was a similar shade to the background, that would be made pure white as well. But in that case, you can just take a history brush or something like that and just paint over it to restore the detail back into the image. But with a lot of images, you'll be amazed how well this adjustment works. Um, it's a quick fix and it'll get those images looking perfect. And it's a lot easier than trying to isolate it using a lasso tool or something like that. So until next time, this is Dan from CheapShooter.com. Thanks for watching.